one of the best things about Floyd and one of the most brilliant things about him, he's one of the most elusive fighters of all time, but he didn't move around. He stood right in front of you and you couldn't f***ing hit him. That's true mastery of space and true mastery of technique. I mean, he was, he's, in my opinion, he's the best boxer that's ever lived. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not qualified to, to, to rank people, but I, I watched when he was making that ascent towards it ended up being 50, you know? He just right? fought last weekend, this weekend. Yeah, he fought, a, um, he fought a match against John Gotti's grandson, which is crazy. That's scary for a lot of reasons. Yeah, for a lot of reasons, right? But this is the second time they fought. The first time they fought, it ended in a brawl. Like a, like a bunch of people jumped in the ring. It was crazy because they stopped the fight because they were talking too much shit to each other and holding on to each other too much. So the referee stopped the fight for whatever reason. I don't know. And in this fight was even crazy too because the referee was the first referee was terrible. And the the referee called Floyd said Floyd Mayweather hit him behind the head. Absolutely incorrect call. Floyd threw a right hand and it caught him on the side of the head. And the referee claimed that it was behind the head. So Floyd fired the referee in the middle of the bout. They, he stops the bout. He's like, get the f*** out of here. Get out of here. Because he's the promoter also. Well, I guess. I mean, also, it's Floyd Mayweather. Like, what's the referee going to do? Fuck you. You know, I'm going to stop the fight. Like, he, he, they, Also, they're in Mexico City. Like, you could get killed. Like, just get out of the ring, buddy. So Floyd throws this punch, and he's 100% correct. The punch landed the side of the head. It's a right hook. It's a perfect punch. And the, the referee was saying, watch the back of the head. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? That wasn't the back of the head. And so he kicks the guy out. And they bring in a different referee who finishes the fight. It was, it was insanity. And Floyd won. It was an exhibition. Mm. It's kind of a bullshit money grab, honestly. So this is, you see the punch? That's the oh, punch yeah. right there. It's just a right hook. So he's saying back of the head. Like, so Floyd's like, get the fuck out of here. Just get out of here. Fuck you, get out of here. He's like, get the fuck out of here. And... If anybody's qualified to say get out of here, it's Floyd Mayweather, the best boxer of all time. He's 100% correct. That referee made a giant, stupid error. He's like, get out of here. Get out of here. He's like, get out of the this ring. Is, this is his domain. Yeah, it's, and he's right. Everybody watching it is right. No one thinks it's a bad punch. If you, so Let's see it again. We can see it one more time. It's a counter right hand. Let's do it. In, we can see it in slow motion. So he throws the punch. Boom. It's just a perfect yeah. right hook. It's a perfect right hook. What it does is, is a punch that goes over the top of the guard and catches him in an exposed area of the, of the head. It's a perfect punch. And for the referee to interfere there, and also it's like, it's literally like someone who probably doesn't know how to box at all telling the greatest boxer of all time that what he's doing is wrong, which is just bananas. That's crazy. So he got rid of the guy in the middle of the fight. But he's still doing these bouts Amazing. at 46 years old, still boxing these young kids. Again, this John Gotti the Third, who is a uh, very good up and coming MMA fighter. So you know he has all the weapons, takedowns, submissions, kicks, all that jazz. But he's choosing to fight Floyd in a boxing fight just for money, just like Conor McGregor did. It's really a trick. He gets these people to box with him. They have no business boxing with him, and he's making millions and millions of dollars doing this way after his competitive career is over. Oh, which is, I guess he's earned that right. Hey, man, yeah. he's a genius. He really is a genius. He's a genius in figuring out a way to keep making money. And one of the reasons why people watch him fight is not because he's like Mike Tyson, just goes out and destroys people. They like watching him fight because they hate him. Because he talks so much shit, and he's like, look at my million-dollar watch, look at my jet, look at my house, look at this. He's, like, constantly showing you all these things that he has. Like, he'll lay out watches in a hotel bed, like, uh, this is a, a million dollars worth of watches. This watch goes for $2 million, and they're like, this is my small watch that I take sometimes, but I want to show you. When I show up, I bring out the big boy, and it brings out this watch that's covered in diamonds. It's, like, $5 million. And so you hate him. People he hate him. He creates envy. Yes. Yeah, he creates envy, and you want him to lose, but he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's too. He's so good. But the other thing is discipline, right? You don't. He's not just this cocky guy who's like really good at boxing. He also has incredible discipline. I've like, seen clips party. of him running in the middle of the night. Yeah, he would go to a nightclub with everybody else, be drinking water. Everybody's partying, having a good time. Floyd would leave the nightclub at two a.m., have his bodyguards drive the car, and he would run in front of the car for hours. Run home, 2 o'clock in the morning. Run five, six miles. And did it all the time. Just always did. He was always fit. Always in shape. Never got fat. Never got lazy. Always was ready. And so never really experienced decline. And then decided at a certain point in time, like after the Conor McGregor fight, okay, I'm done. Done. Did it all. 
beat everybody, un- undefeated, bye. <laughs> and now he just has these these demonstration fights where they're, they're weird little exhibitions where he's just beating people up that have no business in the ring with him. And one of them, he was walking around with a, a card, a ring card. He took it from the ring card girl and he started dancing around. So he's like he's under life. no threat whatsoever. Yeah. He's enjoying life. Well, people like to be angry. 